Yo, what is up guys, Scarface Mark here and welcome to this top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh video and today I bring you the top 10 counter trap cards and this is just in my opinion so obviously everyone has a different opinion so let me know in the comment section below uh, what your top 10 counter trap cards would be so first of all uh, what is a counter trap card a counter trap card is a card that when used your opponent cannot use anything in reply to that counter trap card and you cannot use anything either so it basically what it does is stops the chain and nothing can be used in reply to that in fact there's only one card that can be used in reply Applied to a counter trap card and that is another counter trap card called counter counter and it negates the activation of a counter trap card and destroys it so that's the only card that can be used in reply to a counter trap card so let's get straight into my top 10 and first of all I'll start at number 10 and we have intercept um, when you know your opponent's going to tribute summon this could be a really good card to have in your deck so activate only when a monster is tribute summoned with one tribute take control of that monster so um, this card can be a really really good uh, really really good card to use and if you do use it uh, could really change the game and put you into the front foot um, and win the game from there so in at number nine I have heroes rule two so in the new format um, a lot of active um, a lot of um, action goes in the graveyard and this card negates the activation of a spell trap or effect monster that targets a card in the graveyard and destroys it so um, such as a call of the haunted you can use heroes rule 2 to negate that activation and stop that from happen happening and also there's many cards that when they are normal summoned you can special summon a card from the graveyard uh, but heroes rule 2 will stop that so that's why I have that at number 9 in my top 10 uh, um, counter trap cards then moving on to number 8 is a card that I think is really really underused and um, could be really good to use in this new format it negates the activation of effect monster that activates in the hand or graveyard so cards such as maxi effect villa um, etc etc uh, you can use debunk to stop that activation and stop uh, the effect of maxi or effect villa from happening and um, also cards that when are when are sent to the graveyard and uh, you know they are special summoned or have some sort of effect you can use the bunk once again to stop that act, uh, activation and banish that card so this card is probably really underused and I think maybe I should have it higher in my top 10 but um, I think people especially in the new format should use this card a lot more so then moving on we've got 10 9 8 uh, number 7 we have infernity barrier now obviously in an infernity deck when you come up against that come up against an infernity deck this card is really annoying you know um, activate only when your opponent activates a spell trap or effect monster if you control an infernity monster and have no cards in your hand negate the activation so when you come up against an infernity deck and your and he has no cards in your hand be really wary um, of his back row because he's more than likely going to have an infernity barrier um, in his back row so um, it's a really annoying card to come up against and it's basically a solemn warning without you don't have to pay anything you just got to have an infernity monster on the field and have no cards in your hand moving on in number six we have force back and this is a good card to have early on um, just to start off in the front foot negate the normal summon or flip summon of a monster and return it to uh, the monster's hand so if you go first and uh, not to the monster's hand to the owner's hand why did I say that um, so if you go for first you can set this card down and then when your opponent um, first goes and normal summons you can use this card straight away and straight away you're on the front foot and uh, looking good for the rest of the duel moving on to number five we have curse seal of the forbidden spell so if you come up against a deck and you know your opponent's going to use a spell card um, more than once or um, the spell card is really important to the deck curse seal of the forbidden spell can be a really good counter trap card um, to really change the game and help you for the rest of the duel because uh, all you have to, in the price of paying um, you discard one spell card that's the price you pay and then negate the activation and effect of a spell card and destroy it and not only that your opponent cannot activate spell cards with that name during the rest of the duel so this card can really change the game and help you win duels so that's why I have it in at number five then in at number four 
you have seven tools of the bandit. And by the way, uh, it's really good to have Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell in your um, in your extra deck. And it was really good against Dragon Rulers, you know, when they activate uh, Dragon Ravine. But uh, now that card's banned anyway. So number four, we have seven tools of the bandit. Uh, when a trap gold is activated, pay 1,000 life points. Uh, negate the activation and destroy it. So obviously you have to pay 1,000 life points. But if um, your opponent uses a trap card... Uh, you can use seven tools of the bandits to stop that trap card, such as bottomless um, trap hole. This card is a good um, reply to a bottomless trap hole. And paying 1,000 life points may not even be much, um, especially if it's uh, a trap card that's really annoying and screws you over. So seven tools of the bandit is not that bad of a card to have. Moving on in at number three, we have a really, really good trap counter card in my opinion. One of the best ones, or well, obviously I have it at number three, and it's a really, really good um, trap card and very underused. Negate the special summon of one of your opponent's monsters and destroy it. It's not even limited, it's, um, it's unlimited, so you can have three of them in your deck, and it's a really, really good counter trap card in my opinion. You know, negate the special summon of your opponent's monster and destroy it. How good is that? Then in, in at number two, you have the favorite Dark Bribe. Many people use this card. Uh, when opponent spell or trap card is activated, negate the activation, destroy it, and your opponent draws one card. So the price you pay is your opponent drawing one card, but um, it could still change the game, especially if your opponent draws a uh, a dead a dead card that he can't he can't really use. So uh, dark bribe can work out really well and uh, stop your opponent from winning the duel and giving you another chance. Now moving on into number one, the favorite counter trap card, the card that everybody loves, everybody use, Solemn Warning. Um, I'm sure you all know what it does. When a monster would be summoned or when a spell card, trap card or effect monster is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster, pay 2,000 life points and negate that activation. So this card is really, really good and you can use it in pretty much any situation. You just have to pay 2,000 life points, but uh, that can be nothing, especially if your opponent is um, summoning or using a card that could win him the duel. Paying 2,000 life points is absolutely nothing and this card changes games or changes duels um, in, in an instant and that's why it's limited to one. And also why Solemn Judgment is uh, is banned as well. It's pre pretty similar to this card. Uh, you just have to pay uh, half your life points. So that is my top 10 counter trap cards. And um, here are six cards that uh, were close to getting into my top 10 but didn't quite make it. Uh, we've got Dark Illusion, uh, Champions Vigilance, Horn of Heaven, Curse of Royal, um, Counter Counter, and Negate Attack. Negate Attack is a really good counter trap card as well but there's many other trap cards or cards that stop it um, attacks as well so that's why I didn't have it in my top 10 so anyway that's the top 10 uh, I hope you enjoyed the video so thanks for watching and have a nice day